Trump University LLC was an American for-profit education company that ran a real estate training program from 2005 until 2010. After multiple lawsuits, it is now defunct. The organization was not an accredited university or college. It did not confer college credit, grant degrees, or graded students. In 2011, the company became the subject of an inquiry by the New York Attorney General's Office for Illegal Business Practices. Trump University was also subject of two class actions lawsuits in federal court. The lawsuit centered around allegations that Trump University defrauded its students by using misleading marketing practices and engaging in aggressive sales tactics. Quote, it was a lie, said Maddings, an ex-Marine, now 32, who told the Daily Beast that he racked up around $45,000 in credit card debt to buy Trump University seminars and products. He also said, quote, it was a con. I'm 25 years old, barely making $3,000 a month, and they told me to increase my card limit. I just maxed out three credit cards, and I'm supposed to be able to qualify for loans to buy real estate? Those stupid principles have led me to borrow $700,000 of other people's money and lose it all. I'm still paying off some of the debt, some of that debt to this day. Trump has also claimed to never settle out of principle because that there were 98% approval ratings. However, reports have shown that the students at the, quote, Trump University had actually been pressured to give good reviews in order to be certified and be able to graduate the seminar. Through his lawyers, Trump has negotiated a deal that will cost him $25 million to settle three separate lawsuits against Trump University, according to a statement released by New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman on Friday. The victims, some 6,000 people in New York, California, and Florida, will each receive restitution while up to $1 million will be paid to New York State as a penalty for violating education laws, according to Schneiderman's statement. Okay, well now what, what do I think of this really now? This Trump University situation has shown what Donald Trump is and how Donald Trump was such a schemer in order to make money and he would do any type of scheme that he could to make money regardless of integrity or legitimacy or anything. These were literally three-day seminars that he would have people pay $35,000 for just to attend a three-day seminar. They didn't actually teach you anything. They gave you that same blah blah that people whose parents were rich and gave them money to make to go. These people don't have millions of dollars, billions of dollars to start off with. They don't have that much money to invest. They would make them pay $35 for a three-day seminar and expect them to be able to poof this money out of nowhere, take out more loans. And honestly, it was quite frankly a scam. And more importantly than just this just showing his personality and how it was a scam, I feel like it shows us who America elected as its president. Now, of course, they're sure maybe he's going to change or something like that. I mean, it's always a possibility, and I think more likely than not. However, I do think that this is extremely symbolic because it shows us who we elected in this businessman who has often taken, I, I would say most of the time, because as we've shown, he campaigns against it. He says he's against the TPP, but really he's outsourced his own jobs. But the point is that he actually takes advantage of the people. He is not some kind of populist candidate. He takes advantage of people whenever he can to make money for himself and benefit himself or benefit his family or anyone he knows. And like I said, it kind of shows what kind of a character we elected. And whether or not you want to say that he's going to change is another topic because we don't know if he's fully going to change. I mean, a settlement at this point is obviously a sign because it's showing he wants to move on from his shady, skeptical, scamming recent past. So I think that even if he changes some of that kind of scammy, taking advantage of people will still be left. And I think that a bigger concern for the American people should be hey, he ran a populist campaign, but really I don't think that he's going to put the American people over the corporations that were his best friends beforehand. This guy was a businessman. He he worked around the tax code. He did his best not to pay his fair share of taxes. He did his best to dodge them. He did his best to understand how to dodge them. He did his best to make money for himself and despite all of the people that he took advantage of. So I think it's symbolic of who we elected as president and what we have in the future. And I think it's time for realization for people that 
he is not a populist candidate. He is not against the TPP. He is not this kind of guy. Now, granted, maybe he's not as bad as other Republicans on certain things, but as we've seen now from his Steve Bannon appointment as chief of staff, I think that's an embarrassment, and all these appointments are just horrible. But like I said, he's not he's not a populist candidate. He's going to be another Washington politician. He's going to be a somewhat interesting one, but only because he's quite extreme towards the right when it comes to social issues, which I guess we haven't seen in a while. We'll see how he fares on economic issues. However, as we saw, he went into the the New York, um, I believe New York City diner, and he was talking to the wealthy owners of the diner, and he said, hey, hello, thank you, don't worry, we're going to get your taxes down, literally out loud, the media was there, they caught it, I think they were trying to sneak there, Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be caught or not, but the point is, it's caught on camera, and I think it shows that we need to be worried about what his policy positions are going to be economically, because he can really do shady things like this that he did before. Maybe we're going to see more Bush tax cuts. I'm not really sure. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching.